shooter. Work. Work. At this Work. time, we were like, Work. Work. all the gay sayers and naysayers of Israel Work. united in Christ. Work. Work. Take this moment, Work. please, to shut up. <laughs> all right, Work. we're going in. Fix your face, face. We ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Strips popping, ain't no stopping. When I'm on post, so don't go there. go there. Gotta get it if you wanna know that. Know that. French up and I'ma show that. show that. Mad at me, cause it's Bible verse. Boy, we ain't wrote that. Yeah. We're gonna tell you what God says to do. No, we're gonna give it to you. Yes, yes sir. we're gonna make you accountable for that. And we don't care how you feel about it. That's the Bible right. says whether they hear from them, they go to apocalypse in a month. Like living in this. Them boys in that purple uh, Geeking in them scriptures, man You can call me Urkel Christ is coming with them chairs Like a circle With flames of fire on those who don't follow Instruction uh, Repent or die But you are God's chosen people You got so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans You make us the tribe of Judah Ithaca, Benjamin, Levi Nathalie We make up these 12 tribes That's right you know, a proverb and a byword. A proverb. What's the proverb today? I'm, this proverb is letting our people know that you are being a, a, a wise saying. Negro show do love watermelon, but fried chicken. Bring it out, up. People are always coming out here saying what uh, a, a Mexican in a suit. Uh, what does that say? Not guilty. They come out with wise sayings, but you are the greatest thing walking this earth. Hey, right, sis, how you doing? Hey, can, hey, come here, sis. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Christian, how you doing, Christian? You know your nationality according to the Bible? You know your nationality according to the Bible? What you want to say? Yeah, Israelite. You're Israelite? What tribe you come from, sis? Judah. You come from the tribe of Judah. You know you guys chose the people? But you know you used to break a city and walk through, sir? Let this sister understand. Let this sister understand who Wait. she is and how the most high feel about her. Bring it Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy is separate. That's you're separate right. from all these other nations. Don't think that you're equal. Not one minute. Keep that thought out of your head because we've been taught that for too long. You want to march for equal rights, equal liberty, and everything else. But you are above. You are the best thing walking this earth. You're God's princess. All right? Read on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Hold on. We're going to march and be equal. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Bible just said you are above all people that's on the face of this earth. Now you being an Israelite, you have to understand who you are now. Now that you know who you are, let's get that out of, uh, give me Deuteronomy 32 uh, and, and 7. 32 and 7. Because now, we got to look at these signs right here. You see these signs, sisters? You see where all this happened? This is history that happened to us. Now the Bible's going to tell you what to do when you see stuff like this. Because they probably going to continue to push these pictures in the media and on the websites, on the internet. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 7. Remember the days of old. So it's telling you to remember the past. You see how these other nations and these schools take out history out the Bible? The Bible just said what? Remember the days of old. So it's telling you to remember the old days, what they've done to you. Because in order for you to remember the old days, you can deci decipher who you are, how you came here, and everything else. Read on. Consider the years of many generations. Because we have many generations that came after the slave trade. Because our forefathers, I'm only three generations away from slavery, okay? That's not that long ago. Slavery, three generations. You may be around the same or maybe more. Read on. Ask thy father and he will show thee. You're supposed to be able to ask your parents, your grandparents, some of your elders, and they're gonna tell you what your grandfathers, what your parents went through during slavery. Read on. Thy elders and they will tell thee. 
Read. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance. So just letting you know that the Most High did not keep us together. There's no equilibrity. There's no unity with us, these other nations. The Bible says what again? When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance. Read. When he separated the sons of Adam. So just letting you know, he divided, he separated. He never meant for us to be joined together. Because when we join together, you start going into Mr. Sin. You start going into their idolatry. You start worshiping them. You start thinking that they're equal to you. When that's out of order. Read on. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. So he has set these areas, he set the, uh, the, the, uh, the boundaries, okay? He gave us a difference. Now you know that you're Israelite. You the greatest thing walking this earth, sis. Now you have to come back to understanding who you are. Give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 68. Bring it out! Now we about to get some understanding. Did this happen to everybody? Or this happened to a supposition of people that they showed you happening and every February, they want to let you know who, how you got here. Okay, read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with you. So this is letting you know, Lord, Egypt, okay? We have to know what the word Egypt means. Egypt is synonymous with something. Because you, before you can leave this country, you gotta have what? We're talking about paperwork you gotta have. Passport. Obviously you're not free if you gotta have a passport to leave this country. So this is letting you know you are in bondage. You got that uh, Exodus. This is what, this is what uh, 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 Egypt means. Me. Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So this is letting you know, when we left Egypt the first time, we left bondage. We never went back, and we walked, okay, when we left Egypt. Now this is letting you know again, how we're going to get into Egypt again. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You're going to go into slavery again. With ships. With what? Ships. So those are cargo slave ships. That's right. Those weren't cargo coops that we came over here. Right. We weren't eating, we weren't uh, drinking Mai Tai uh, 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 martinis and all this other stuff. That was hard bondage. That's Millions right. of us died coming across these slave trade. Yeah. And it's right here in these pictures. It's right here in these pictures. Right. Showing you who you are. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. By the way the, uh, Moses said it was gonna happen, you ain't gonna see your homeland no more again. Because where you see your homeland from? Where you from? Galatians. From somewhere over in, from Africa area. You see, you see what they taught you? They taught you that you was from Africa. We're gonna get out of the Bible where it says you from. Bring it out. We just, we're really from um, Well more just really means black, but the Moors were Israelites. Okay? Just give you an understanding. Read on. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above is free. So this let me know this is the motherland, Jerusalem. Read. Which is the mother of us all. So this is letting you know the motherland is Jerusalem. Right. That's where we're not going to know. That's why we call ourselves African. African and American is two hyphenated white men. That's the name the white man gave. Exactly. And you call yourself African American and name that to two white men. Two Caucasian uh, Edomites is what they are in the Bible. Right. You can't get two Men, let alone can't make a baby, let alone a whole race. Okay? So Theo Scipios Africanus and Americos Vespucci is where Africa and America comes from. Right. He was a homosexual. No, he wasn't. He was actually a, a, a he was the only black prophet to stay with his wife and the king. And then, but that's just like the go what happened to uh, Bill Cosby. I'm about to give you some understanding. Exactly, that's the same thing they did to King James when he was trying to show the people who they were. And we had the greatest thing walking this earth. Why would King James hold this? Get the uh, get Romans uh, 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 one. You know what I want. Why would King James write this and he and he telling you if he's a homosexual, he wouldn't tell you to uh, that to put these. He would have took this out, but he didn't even write the Bible. He had the book. He was an author. He had other people, put, uh, other pop, uh, other uh, 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 scholars uh, from different and, and wrote it and put it together, put this manuscript together for us. Read what you got. Romans chapter one verse twenty six. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, 
For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. Because just to let you know, that's against nature for man and man, and woman and woman. That's a vile, a disgusting thing. That's an abominable thing. You're gonna be put to death if you don't repent. Read on. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. Because a man's natural use is a woman. If he was a homosexual, he would have had this taken out. Thus, read on. Burned in their lust one to another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. So just to let you know that was error. This is in the New Testament, okay? So King James was not a sodomite, Thus, a homosexual. He was a king. He was a man. He was an Israelite. Bring it out. All right, they're authorized about it. Let's go back to where we were. We yes, sir. Hey, just to, just to get on that point with King James, this book right here, The True Monarchs, The Free Monar Monarchies, and um, Balistan Duran. This is a book that King James wrote to his son, all right? Let me show you, let me read something out here that it says real quick. This, this is what he wrote to his son, it says, but as this severe justice of yours upon all offenses will be but for a time, as I have, as I have already said, so there are horrible crimes that are bound in conscience never to forgive. So he's talking, he's telling his son about horrible crimes that you can never forgive, right? He says, uh, such as witchcraft, willful murder, incest, and sodomy. So this is a book that he wrote. And it, yeah. it's hard to even find these books right here. Two, three, four, five hundred dollars just to get these books. But this is a book that he wrote to his son, saying that that's a crime that you shouldn't forgive. Mm. Oh, praises. So this brother, uh, this officer just gave us some more edification on King James. So we're going to get back to what we were just talking about. How great you are and that we was going to leave our homeland. Okay? And that we're not going to know who we are. Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we're going to go to bondage again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland Jerusalem anymore. Read. And there, and there, when you get off those slave ships, and there, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. No, to your best friend's Billy. Sold unto your enemy. To your girlfriend Becky. Enemy. So this is letting you know who your enemies are. When you came off those slave ships, you were sold into a nation of people, and it's telling you that they are your enemies. That's why the Bible tell you, remember the days of the old. Don't tell it like, like they want to tell you, forget about the past. Don't, don't remember slavery anymore. No, forget about that. But every, every time uh, the Holocaust come around, they bring that to your face. They bring 9-11 to your face. They bring out all these other things and atrocities that happen to them, but they don't want to remember what happened to us. That's That's right. Right. Because the things that happen to us is way more number than, than them. That's right. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody gonna be able to redeem us. No one is gonna be able to save us. Okay, redeem is an old Quaker word for save. Because we had Marcus Garvey tried to save us. Right. We had uh, 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 Megger Evers who tried to save us. Uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. What all things happened to them? They all got assassinated. They got put to death. It didn't just they died on their own natural cause. They was killed. Bring it out, Arch. Because they was trying to bring unity back together. But they wasn't going according to this Bible. Here in his own state right here, excuse me. Here in his own state. They dropped bombs here on Tulsa. That's right. Where they had Black Wall Street. Where our people was living together. The so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. They was living together in their own communities. We didn't have to go to these other nations to buy anything. Right, brother. We had our own stuff. We had our own stores, God, hospitals, libraries. You was doing this stuff. Live back in Vegas, please. All praises. We got a school out in Vegas too, so you need to reach out to them brothers too. All right. So this is us bringing out the scriptures to you. All right. And uh, now we have to understand who you are. All right. Now that you know that you're the greatest thing, you got to know what we have to do. Give me. Right. Uh, now we want you to do one thing, sis. Now that you know that you're Israelite and you're from the tribe of Judah. Now it's one thing that you must do. We're going to bring it out in the scriptures. Read. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Repent ye therefore. 
So it's telling us to repent. Once you repent, you come back to know who you are as a nationality. That's what our whole message is. Telling our people to come back and remember who we are according to the Bible. Well, hey, okay. right. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So when you repent, you got to convert. What convert means? To turn over your life. You turn over your life? How, how, you turn, how do you turn something around? How do you turn it around? Don't do things you used to do. Oh, praise. I'm glad you recognize that. Now, this is what this is what we're going to bring out of the scriptures. Let's see what convert means. Read. Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. So just let you know the law is perfect. All right. These churches tell you you don't have to keep the commandment. You don't have to keep the law. The law is done away with. But the Bible just tells you that the law is what? The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. So the law is what converts the soul. So when you converse your soul, that's what you're going to come back to doing. You're going to remember who you are. You're going to turn away. That's like you having a big bucket, right? You take however many years you've been here, you throw out all that stuff. Now you go into this Bible, and you start putting stuff that's in this Bible. You start putting that back in your bucket, okay? You start putting the Sabbath day, which is today. Today is the Sabbath day. You start putting in uh, uh, the dietary laws. Not eating shrimp, crab, and lobster and pork. Right. Because all those things are abominable thing to you. That, it's unclean things, exactly, sis. So that's one thing. These things that you're going to learn by congregating, being around right for, uh, people with the same mind state of you. Learning from other sisters how you must be dressing. Because you know there's a dress code, right? Okay, read on. Read, read what you got. Read, finish read what you got. Then read it. Then. Read on. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So now this is letting you know when you repent, your sins will be blotted out because you're not going to be doing those things anymore. The scripture tells us in 2 uh, Corinthians 5 and 17 that you'll be a new creature. Right. So people can't bring these old stuff up to you. So right now, you didn't know today that you was dressing in modest apparel. I know, I know. Uh oh, you know it. I know this is the world way. Yeah, and, and and that's the thing. You want to you want to continue My to be supposed to be covered. Oh, praise you, you! You know this thing. Yeah. You know this. So we're gonna read it anyway. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So this is letting you know this going into pants, okay? Because the man was given pants to wear. Okay, that's how you rule the household. All right, they say men wear the uh, wear the pants. Okay, there's a order between things. Okay, it's God, Christ, man, woman, and children. Okay, so that's the order. You have a husband. You married? Okay, well this is a good time for you. Start working on getting a husband, and this is how you're going to do it. It's about keeping the commandments. That's right. So this is a uh, man, uh, uh, read on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Hey, sister, you said so. You said you understand this. You know. You said you know you got to have your head covered, pants, all that. You can't wear pants and all that, right? Okay, watch this. Give me a uh, Sirach chapter 5, you know what I'm saying? What you say? You know that's idolatry, right? You see this sign over here? That's what everybody says Jesus the Christ is, right? I know, yeah. That's idolatry, Christianity. God didn't give us Christianity. God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Watch this. Uh, start at verse 7. Watch this. So what? Chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. The Bible says don't tarry to turn to the Lord. Don't tarry to keep his commandments. Come on. And put not off from day to day. Don't put it off day to day. Because a lot of times we say, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm going to get right. I mean, I'm going to get right. The Bible says don't do that. Don't do that. That's all it is is an excuse. Come on. For suddenly shall the... Because it says suddenly. Come on. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Guess what? Suddenly the wrath of God will come forth. You just be walking one day and then get hit by a bus or get severely injured because you tear. Come on. And in thy security, that's because a lot of times we think day to day, I'm gonna get right, I'm gonna get right. Ain't that happen? So you get secure, you get comfortable. Come on. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. In your security, you'll be destroyed. The scriptures say don't tear. Watch this, Psalms 119, verse 60. Bring it up. Psalms 119, verse 60. So if you know, sister, don't tell. Make haste. Come on. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste 
and delay not to keep thy commandments. The Bible says, don't make, make haste to keep God's commandments. So if you know, guess what you should be doing? Yeah, yeah it's a process, you're right. But guess what? When you gonna start the process? I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Times. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.